So I spent a month making a Minecraft mod. Here are the fruits of my labor. I made all the models in Blockbench and coded mostly with mCreator. I know it doesn't have the best reputation amongst the community, but I still really enjoy using it. I wanted to make sure this mod had a basis in boss fights for progression, a lot like Terraria. So far it just has a bunch of mobs, a bunch of weapons, and a few bosses. The first thing I made for this mod was the Fungal Sage, which is the first boss you'll fight. The first step to fighting him is getting these purple mushrooms and turning them into a block. Then you need to get Mycelium. It's a lot easier to obtain in this mod than in normal Minecraft. Once you do it, place the Violet Fungus block over top of the Mycelium block and you'll be able to spawn the boss. He can be pretty challenging, especially because of his poison recoil whenever you attack him and the fact that he has a lot of status effects. His healing can get a bit rough, so I'd recommend getting him to attack his minions because they also recoil poison. And to make him a little bit more deep, I made a variant of him that can be someone with a red mushroom block over top of a mycelium to make him a traitor instead. He doesn't trade with a normal material. You mostly just right click him with the thing he needs and then he'll give you some stuff. That thing being a... Uh, dung? You give me like a Minecraft mod making software and then I make poop. Really? The only way to get it is to kill a special mob group known as the Dung Beetles. Yeah, these are bipedal Dung Beetles. Not sure what I was thinking with that one, but yeah. They spawn in the desert at night time. There are two different variants. The basic variant and then the Magicant, which is the mystic variant. He has a little collection of spells he can use whenever you hit him. These two mobs can also drop their special weapons, which I modeled in Blockbench. That being the Stingwave and the Sand Whipper Staff dropping off of the basic variant of Magicant, respectively. Another thing you do is fight the Smith Zombie, which spawns in these houses in the plains. Not at all based around a monster from Resident Evil. He drops a special whetstone that can be used with an iron sword and a smithing table to make the Vorpal Iron Sword. That also illustrates the fact that I wanted to give the smithing table a bigger purpose besides just netherite. With the super sharp sword, you can collect blood from yourself. And I'm not sure why I did that, it just comes off a little edgy, but... Okay, so yeah, back to things. You can use this blood to make some very important resources. While the main sword itself can be upgraded into various stronger swords with a smithing table, and another specific item. Now for the mobs. The first one I want to mention for you is the storm spawn. These guys only spawn during when it's raining, or during a thunderstorm, I think. They float around and try to strike you with lightning by floating slowly towards you. They also have this special property where they float towards creepers and try to strike them with lightning to make them into charged creepers. They also do the same thing with villagers and try to turn them into witches. That is why you'll sometimes hear lightning striking randomly around you and explosions because the creepers don't like being attacked. The next overworld mob I'd like to mention is the doll, also known as the ghastly doll. I'm kind of proud of the model of this thing and also the way it animates. I'm glad it came out with this really weird something else making it float kind of thing, like it's not controlling its own body. Its function is simply floating towards you and giving you blindness if it hits you. Sometimes killing them gives you a little surprise, but I won't ruin that one for you. They're not bad at all when they're on their own, but when they're paired up with a few other undead like skeletons or zombies, they can be a bit rougher. Now for the nether. I added a new mob to each of the biomes of the nether except for the basalt deltas because I wasn't sure what to add to that one. One of those mobs spawns in the nether wastes, and that is the Jabber Demon, and the Archer variant of the Jabber Demon. The Archer variant has a heavy crossbow, while well, the basic variant has, well, um, nothing. They're both pretty tanky, having 40 HP and not taking much knockback. I think the hardest part about them is the fact they don't take damage from arrows. Tridents and Holy Water are the only thing that can damage them from long range. Now, the Archer variant has a very slow shot speed, but shoots an arrow that does a lot of damage if it hits you. Not at all like something from another game that also shoots you from far away that does a lot of damage if it hits you and you don't block the attack. Speaking of that, the best way to defeat the Archjabber Demon is to block their attack with your shield. Or get behind something to get them to whiff their shot. I think this mod is coming along pretty well. It's pretty small as of right now and I think there are a few little bugs and things I want to fix later on. In the future I will add updates to this mod periodically whenever I have time to make these updates. I'm also making a Discord server for this mod in particular. I know I don't really have much Discord presence, but I really want to be on Discord more often when it comes to the fans. I want to try to assemble a team for this mod so I can actually get things like a soundtrack made for it and 
maybe some more complex structures that I'm not the best at making. If you would like to help out with this mod, then you can apply on my server in the chat that's specially dedicated for it. Or if you just want to get on, hang out, and talk about the mod, or talk about your own experiences with Minecraft and stuff, maybe even give me bug reports, that would be really cool. The link and invite will be in the description. There will also be a link to the CurseForge page whenever it comes out, so that you all may download this mod for yourselves. With all that said, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I really hope you guys join my server and hang out, and, you know, I really hope you like the mod. This is something very new to me, and uh, I've mostly just been experimenting with it a lot. I'm really hoping to put this in a direction, maybe make some lore for it, you know, make this a whole project. I'll probably post more update videos as they come out, and as I come up with more ideas for the mod. So stay tuned for that. And uh, with all that said, you know, uh, have a good day.